okay before we, we go further discussing uh, about several example of output the one that we don't discuss yet is analog output okay like i discussed in um, uh, previous slide that i i mentioned Okay, this slide, as you can see in this slide, the statement number three is there. Okay, Arduino has digital output that can also be used to mimic analog output. So, uh, in the previous lectures, I hold this statement first because it's a little bit tricky to explain this thing. In okay, in reality, Arduino cannot provide the real analog output. However, what we do is actually we are manipulating the digital signals that generated by the Arduino port to mimic the analog output. Okay, in this video lecture, we will discuss about that. So, let's go back to the, the slide that discussed uh, uh, related to the outputs there, which is this one. Okay, so uh, in order for you to operate, uh, of course, I, I, I've shared you some simple digital output where that is how you, when you want to operate the LED to, to, to make it as a LED blinking. Now, let's take a look how to operate the analog output in Arduino. When I say ad analog output, meaning that actually it's a digital signals that we manipulate that digital signals or digital output which will mimic the behavior of analog signals. In order for you to, to operate the analog output, again, let me remind you. Okay, let me remind back you in this slide okay i have discussed that in order for you to operate uh, the analog output you must the use we must use uh, the port that label with digital pwms such as port number 11 port number 10 uh, and we also have port number 6 5 as well as 3 okay that is where you can uh, operate the analog output again uh, you can see as as the the labels there is a digital pwm okay digital pwms is still a digital signals but by having what we call as a pwm it will mimic the behavior of analog signal or analog output again like i said in my statements there arduino don't have don't have any digital output I'm sorry, I don't know, cannot generate a real analog output, but uh, by utilizing the digital PWM concept, it will mimic and it, it will mimic the behavior of analog signal. So now let's discuss what is PWM is all about. Okay, in order for you to, to provide analog output, by, with, by using the concept of PWM this is the function that you need to familiar of course I, I, I think you already familiar with digital read where that is called the input input uh, input port and then you need also to familiar with digital write where that is actually for the purpose of to uh, to make um, digital output Okay, and then pin mode. Of course, if you want to use uh, as the output, you need to select uh, any pins that you want to use, and then you, you must use a function pin mode to select whether you want to use as an input or output. And in order for you to manipulate the PWM to mimic the analog signal, you must familiar with this function, what which is called analog write. Okay. So this, that is in contrast with digital write. Digital write is for uh, for for if you want to operate uh, as digital output. But if you want to uh, use the 
analog output then you need to use a function analog write and again this function need to be used with the port which is labelled with digital PWM that I discussed in the previous slide okay this one has been discussed before uh, digital output from the Arduino in general it will it if you talk about digital output it can be 0 or 1 okay if you talk about 0 then that's why the LED is turned off if you if you if, if I relate with uh, the example of uh, the LED blinking and then if you give high or 1 actually in the physical it is equivalent to 5 volt so once the 5 volt is generated and uh, send that 5 volt into the LED, LED the LED is turned on so that is why you get the concept of LED blinking that's okay before we discuss about the concept of PWM this is the generals that uh, I think this I, I, I take this uh, this thing from some some books some reference book okay in general the output itself can be categorized into three which is visual output physical output and audio output so actually is it, it has been categorized according to what type of uh, device or what type of module have been connected with that, that port for example the one that the simplest one that we, we, we discussed before which is LED blinking because you are connecting the output port of Arduino with the LED LED is under visual output because you can see the changing of or the behavior of the Arduino through through the LED or you can we can say is you can see or you can visually see the response of your Arduino okay then we also have a physical output meaning you are you are you 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 can see the the change through the physically or the response from the Arduino physically which is through motor uh, and 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 uh, so on and also we also have the audio output where if you connect your Arduino with some speaker or buzzer and the, that buzzer is when it turn on it will give you some sound so that is uh, under category of audio output okay now let's discuss about the simple analog output we still using the same LED concept to discuss this thing again this is where we try to discuss that what we call as a digital PWM that manipulate have been manipulated to mimic the behavior of analog output okay uh, I think this example you can uh, you, you can search in uh, Tinkercad it's, it's, it's already there okay okay to find that example again you need to type the Arduino and then you use you find uh, and you search for the one that called fit there FAD fit then you drag into the center areas there and then if I run the simulation set I start to run the simulation so what you can see there the intensity or the the, the brightness of the LED is changing set okay it will go from the dark to the high to, 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 to to the brightest one or to the maximum bright brightness and then it keep reducing the intensity to from from the 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 it will reduce the intensity from the uh, high brightness into very low darkness until you it will you know it will uh, turn off the light and then it keep to something like that continuously so as you can see there that is example of the Arduino provide the analog output so where actually the analog output the analog itself is the brightness of the LED okay it's going into if you talk about the intensity of the light okay or the intensity of the LED if you assume uh, zero means no no light at all and then the intensity is keep increase increase and keep increase up until the maximum brightness and then it's going back down 
the intensity going low and low and the LED turn off and then it will go back from zero where it represent uh, turn off and the intensity keep increase okay, the intensity of the or the brightness of the LED keep increase out until the maximum level and it's going back down so this is uh, uh, the behavior of analog something that we call analog signals but uh, of course as it, that is one thing so that's it show that Arduino can generate the analog uh, analog output okay that is one thing the second thing from the circuit you can see that instead of using port 13 this example using port 9 again port 9 is a digital PWM is one of the digital PWM that uh, can be used to support the analog output that is also where you uh, you need to connect in order for you to apply the analog right which is um, in this light okay which is in this light again analog light uh, you can it it can generate the analog uh, analog signal uh, uh, analog signal uh, uh, i can set some digital anal digital signal that mimic the analog signal so that's why i put a post trophy there analog signal because it's not a real analog signal and in order to apply this function analog right okay you need to use the port where that port is labeled as a digital pwm again I remind you that so that example if you check the codes there okay I just stop the simulation and we check the code so that is the code you can see that uh, how to uh, how to operate analog uh, output from this pin number 9 or port number 9 so again you need to set the pin mode pin number 9 or port number 9 as the output and then uh, then you use the analog write functions there ok again uh, you can see that uh, this is how uh, the function works meaning that there's a two for loops there one uh, ok if you check the for loops there this is the brightness ok for brightness equal to 0 again the highest value that can be achieved by this uh, this uh, analog is 255 is like uh, the, the concept is almost similar with the analog inputs eh? the highest is 255 because 255 is 8 bit so that 255 represent 5 volt again and then uh, you, as you can see from brightness 0 and the brightness less than 25 or equal to 55 you do increment with, with your brightness with step step 5 there ok you stepping 5 plus 5 ahead and then what you do you apply the analog right where the pin again pin number 9 and then this brightness value we put it here so meaning that uh, it that is where that is how actually you in, do some increment there ok from 0 and then 5 10 15 up into 255 and then each loop here you put a delay okay, the purpose of delay there is to this if you don't put delay we cannot see the changing of the intensity so that's why you put delay so it's like a pause to the codings and then once it's finished arrives at the 255 which is the highest intensity or the highest brightness of this LED this one will be executed and it will going back down from 255 to 0 so that is why you see the LED is keep changing the intensity level going from the dark to the the, the, the maximum bright or the, the maximum intensity and then from the maximum intensity going back into dark or turn off the LED so that, that's how it's work okay of course uh, this this explanation if you talk about the explanation itself that is how we, if you want to uh, develop some uh, analog output but the the story behind this analog output or, or the story behind this the function called analog right is actually they, they they use the concept of what we call again as a digital pwm so what is digital pwm
okay this is the example of digital wm so digital pwm itself is called pulse width modulation so meaning that this is the pulse again this is uh, what we call as pulse and then the width modulation width here is the width the width or the duration when you turn on okay so as you can see when you apply the analog right okay again analog right so any pin that you want in this example we use a pin number nine okay so if you apply the analog right pin number nine and you put the zero there it's meaning zero percent of duty cycle meaning that it's only zero i mean it's like you if you are using a, a digital right it's, it's look like digital right you put a low okay it's similar to digital right pin number what pin pin number nine you put zero so or low so so because because it's look like it turn off the led so and what happened actually when you are set your analog right pin number nine for example you put 63 63 if you divide with 255 you will get the okay if maybe you have a calculator you can use your your own calculator 63 divide by 255 time 100 is similar to 25 percent duty cycle so what is the meaning by 25 percent duty cycle i i believe that you also uh, will have you will discuss this thing in your uh, in, in your electronic or circuit theory uh, class there what is the meaning of duty cycles we may want to be when we talk about 20 percent duty cycles meaning that only 25 percent of the signals of the of per cycles there okay when i said per cycle is it is mean that from here to here is one cycle so if 25 percent duty cycles meaning that for each cycle here only 25 percent is turned on the rest is turned off okay you can see that when you apply the analog right pin number 9127 divided by 255 times 100 is equal to half 50 percent so what happened 50 percent is for each cycle half of the cycle or 50 percent of the cycle is is the duration where the the voltage provided by the input uh, by by the port number nine is turned on and another remaining 50 percent is turned off so that's why they call it 50 percent duty cycle while this one 25 percent duty cycle only 25 percent of the periods there is turning on while the remaining is 75 percent is turned off and if you talk about the 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 maximum intensity where you apply you, you do analog right pin number nine again and then you put 255 when you put 255 that is 100 percent duty cycle meaning that it's always turned on for every period so this is equivalent to digital right pin number nine high so so again this is digital right uh, pin number nine low this is digital right pin number nine high if you talk about the example in this one if you want to change it from the analog to digital output but if you apply as the analog output you can manipulate like this one so this is what we this is the behavior of the signal that provided or generated from this pin number nine and then and send it to this led which is why that led is keep changing the intensity so you as you can see here this is what we call pwm and if you see the pwm still we have we don't have analog signal it's, it's still a digital okay this is zero this is uh, one this is one zero one zero this is one zero one zero but now you can see that by by manipulating the 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 period or the the time how, how or the width the width of the um when actually uh, the signal turn on and turn off or one how what how what and uh, how much uh, the signals provide uh, high and how much the signal provide low is actually can by manipulating that behavior you can have something 
which is actually is a digital signal but it mimic the analog behavior okay maybe this example is a quite complicated for you to understand how to operate the analog output so let me change it into simplest way to to see the changings there okay how about we try to remove all the for loops so then we can see some simple way to operate the analog output uh, okay uh, we, because we, we we just want to understand the concept first before we go further into try to develop some which is uh, complicated and good for you to 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 use it in your project okay i just remove all the for loop okay then uh, we i think we don't use the the void loop we can copy this function okay because we don't to we don't have to use this for loop we because i think this function can be put in this setup because we want to, it to run once we don't need to to continuously running that things so this is how okay you only have need two function there you need to use one is pin mode to to set uh, this port as output and then you need to change the brightness there okay again um, i already removed this one let me remove this one uh, then we just put the numbers there okay if i put zeros there means that it's like uh, what we have in this slide okay we have zeros there do zero percent duty cycle if i run the code so if i run the code of course the led is turned off okay you cannot see nothing you, can, you don't see nothing there because uh, zero duty cycle means that turn off always turn off then i i change it into let's say 25 of uh, 25 percent duty cycles Okay, 25 duty cycle is equal to 63 so I put it 63 okay you see there's a really turn, turn on but this one is uh, 25 duty cycles okay how about uh, I put it um, 1 to 7 which is 50% duty cycles okay it's the, the, the intensity is, is uh higher than the previous one okay how about we put 100 percent duty cycles so of course that is the maximum one which is 255 so that is the highest one that we can achieve the, the highest the maximum brightness that we can achieve which is 100 percent duty cycle so by changing this value you can change the intensity of the uh or the the intensity of the leds 